<laughs> it is so. <laughs> Those ruined books weren't there. <laughs> oh, why would I be screwed? I'd probably be dead and I'd have to reload before I jumped in the water like an idiot. Sorry, Claudius, you're, you're, I'm afraid you're not quite as tough as you now look. He is quite tough looking, to be fair. Especially in all that gear. His face tattoos and his big old beard. Sometimes like this kind of made me a bit sad that I wasn't able to finish the Companions quest line. I think you would have made a quite a good Harbinger, Claudius, actually. Between you and me, mate. Never mind, Vilkus is doing just fine. Oh, thank goodness for ruined books. That's all I can say. I'm glad I remembered I could do that. I feel completely warm. Good. Well then. Let's get this packed up and let's get moving. Okay, that fire will not last long enough to keep me warm throughout the night, so... Bollocks. Alright, well, we can't go this way. So, evidently there's got to be some sensible way of getting down to this boat. Rather than jumping up a cliff like I did. So we just have to find out what that route is. Hawker? Are they mating or something? Two hawkers and a wolf chasing a rabbit. You couldn't make this stuff up, could you, really? It's like a joke or something. Are a bunch of rig things going to jump out at me in a second? No? Okay. Leave it out, Hawker. I'm not interested. We've already got a few hawker loaves to eat. Well, you must be a very chilly cliff racer. Indeed. I really need a darker nights mod. I suddenly realised, because I could put on my night vision right now, but look, I clearly don't need it. Then again, I don't know. I mean, how dark would a night under all those stars and the... And the northern lights, although they've disappeared. Ah, oh, he's slightly more... Oh, shit. Hi! I'm one of you, by the way. I think he's going for the Rickling. Is that a cave? Hello! It's a hunter. Oh, come on, you can take a leap. Where are you off to then, mate? Are you going to go kill some Thalmor? Or are you just going to kill some Hawkers? Well, he's not the guy we're looking for, because he's a werewolf and not a werebear. Well, this should be interesting. Are you having a conversation? You king of the jungle or something, you dictating to the hawkers, or whatever. <laughs> I'll leave you to your Lycanthropes Anonymous meeting over there. Bristleback Cave. I think I'll pass. God. Oh, I think the hawkers want to fight. That's what's causing the battle music. Come on, then. Well, now, fellow beast blood. Well met, friend. Not many of our kind still hunt these lands. If you ever need aid, seek out Majni's pack up at Frostmoon Crag. They've long welcomed outsiders. Now... Hmm. 
My prey awaits. Good hunting to you. Well, I'll be damned. I would, wasn't actually expecting it to talk. Frostmoon Crag. What the bloody hell's that? Over there. Well, you know, I have been meaning to try out the whole werewolf thing on Solzheim. And then we, we came, one of the reasons we came to Solzheim because we, we were hoping to get it cured, actually. We've still not found the Altar of Throned. One last time, for old time's sake. I would mark it on my map, but I can't. I just have to head in the general direction, I think. Cross Moon Crag is. Oh! Feed. I'm full. <laughs> okay. Oh, what the hell? Ah. What do we have here? Goodies or baddies? Oh, they're just skull. I have no quarrel with them. You only have to wrestle back. I'm a little wary, to be honest with you, because in, in werewolf form, I am ironically much more fragile. Alright, that's the star in place. So if I get hit by anything, particularly any one with a particularly big battle axe or something, I might well die in one hit. Sad to say. Just seems to be the way the game is balanced. Frost Moon Crag, over here somewhere, I think. Well, here we are, Werewolf on Solzheim. Said I was going to do it at some point, and I have. Happy memories. Frost Moon Crag will be one of the unmarked caves on my map. Or my compass, rather. Just need to figure out which one. Since I can't access my map, and that, to be honest, is fair enough. Frost Moon Crag, hurrah! Hi, guys. Hail, brother. I am Raquel of the Frostmoon Pack. You are welcome among us, so long as you mean no harm. Do you live out here? Since I was born, my parents were members of the Pack back when Majni's father was Alpha. After they died, Majni and Akar took care of me and taught me to hunt. I'm not as good as they are, but I do my best. Have you ever thought about moving to a city? <laughs> Why? Have you seen how they live? They cower behind their walls, afraid of every ash hopper, every niche. No, I'd rather be here, free to hunt, uh -oh. free to live my life as I choose. Okay. Person, go with you. I will just warm myself by your fire. There we go. Oh, that was timed remarkably well. I'm glad I was still able to talk while in werewolf form. Um, I was I was worried for a second there when she ran over with a weapon drawn that um, she was gonna attack me because 
of some sort of weird NPC logic when it comes to werewolves. Just eating their raw rub outside. See, this this is this is a strange situation, really, because on the one hand, it kind of represents everything Claudius despises about his lycanthropy. Look, I mean, they're savages. They're just living in a, in a bloody cave in the wilderness, charging about the place. But at the same time, you can't help but think that, you know, a lot like the companions, they're not harming anyone. They're just, you know, living their own little life out here in the wilderness, hunting animals and reeklings, <laughs> neither of which we have a problem with, particularly. You know what? Well, since we're here, I guess we might as well. Oh, really? Owned? I can't. I can't sleep here with you guys. Fine. I'll, I'll be the, uh, the civilized outsider and pitch a tent instead. Odd as it seems, but uh, what the hell? I'll do it. Um, somewhere it's not completely in the way. I'll do. There we go. There is frigid and deadly. Yeah, seems like a good, good place to stop, is any? Ah, oh, pretty sky. Anything we can talk to you about now? We're in human form. Yes. Good hunting. Hmm. She's uh not exactly unattractive, is she? I mean. Well then, satiated, not thirsty, tired and sober. Well, yeah, let's lie down. Grab 40 winks. Mm, eight hours? Something like that? Yeah. I don't trust you, Will. Keep that in mind. Excuse me? Ooh, what? What is it, pup? Oh god, it's like joining the companions all over again. Speak. You part of this pack too? For now. My pack lived in the mountains northeast of here till they were wiped out. Damn werebears. Magini offered to help me reclaim my territory. I hunt with him until then. After that, we'll see. Where there is I? <laughs> Welcome, brother. It's been too long since we met another who shares our blood. I am Majni, Alpha of the Frost Moon Pack. You are welcome here, so long as you respect our law. Uh, you all werewolves? Aye. The blood still runs true among some on Solstein, as it has for centuries. We have chosen to embrace Lord Hirsin's blessing. You know it well. The speed and strength of the beast. The thrill of the hunt. The triumph of the kill. This is our purpose. Our way of life. So it was for my father and his father before him. And I welcome any who walk that path. Hmm. Are there other werewolves on Solstheim? You might find a few others. Strays. Lone hunters. But ours is the last true pack that remains. Do you have anything to trade? Meat. Furs. Bone. Trophies of the hunt. But those are of little use to you. There is one more thing. Since the days of the Great Hunt, our pack has kept a set of rings, blessed by Lord Hirsin himself. I sense his favor on you. For you, I will part with them, if you can pay my price. Here, take a look. Hello. Ooh. Ring of Bloodlust. While in beast form, your attacks do 50% more damage, but you also take 50% more damage. Instinct. When you, when you enter beast form, the world around you seems to slow for 20 seconds. When in beast form, your health regenerates. Sweet. Ring of the Moon. Increases the duration of your howls by 
25%. Oh, these are pretty good. They're also pretty fucking expensive. Taking 50% more damage than I already do in beast form is not good. So I think I'll pass on that one. This seems to be the best, really. The Ring of the Hunt. I'll go on then. Now you've got seven, 9,000 odd gold. I can actually sell you a bunch of stuff. So. Like that. And that. What's that ring of... Mm, you know, I do want that. I had another ring though, didn't I? Oh, you want some dragon bones? Dragon scales? Ring of recharge. That's it. That's the one I was thinking of. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got a bit of that gold back. Not much, but a bit of it. I could afford it, but I like I've still got 27 grand. <laughs> Alright then. Thank you. Farewell. Ironic, really, since I, I kind of want to get rid of my whole beast form thing, but you know. What? <clears throat> A car, Majni's brother. I hunt, he talks. Go talk to him. You hunt? What do you hunt? Deer, sabers, reeks, boar, bear. I hunt soon. Go bother Majni. See, they're not bad guys. They, they hunt the same things I do. <laughs> so. Hmm. Well, this was a cool little find. I had no idea this was here. And yeah, you know, maybe if I do have a ring that make, makes my beast form a little less. Um, I'm not going to take that. It belongs to them. Stellar in battle axe. Oh, wow. Um. You know, if I do have something that maybe makes my beast form a little bit more usable, maybe I would use it still. Because the thing is, even if I get my lycanthropy cured, I've still got the Ring of Heircene, so I can still do beast form. It's quite sneaky, but there it is. If we ever feel that urge, Claudius, if you know what I'm talking about. The option is still there. And as far as the companions are concerned, you'll still be a werewolf, so... If I ask you to prove it, well, yeah. Anyway. Yes? I already talked to you, didn't I? You're just... Hello again. Yes, hello. Wow. Oh, that's a picturesque sight with the sun glinting off the ice and stuff. Anyway. Talk to Baldur Iron Shaper this way. Gosh, yeah, the game is looking nice. Uh, it's amazing how, mu how much of a difference reinstalling the Imaginator made. And actually, with the new graphics card compared to the old one I was using before. And the FX8. Well, I'll be damned. It's the Ultra Throned. <laughs> oh. That doesn't look good. Well, there was supposedly a coven of witches that lived here. The olden days. I could cure lycanthropy. So there seems to be much trace of them now, though. Good go with grief. It actually does look like the old Ultra Throne. Hmm. What's this about, then? Ultra Throned Cave. Alright. This does not look good. Oh, we found the place. This is one of the reasons we came to Saltheim. The legends of the witches who could cure. Ah! Isabel, 
fillets. Uh oh. Dare heal. Hag Raven. Well, evidently these were the witches. It's just they've turned themselves into Hag Ravens. God, what is it? What is it with this Hag Raven thing? It's like a new craze or a new fad or something. It's like necromancers trying to turn themselves into liches. Witches turning themselves into hag ravens. Human flesh. Good grief. Well, looks like we're not going to be finding any help here, folks. It was worth a try, but, um, don't think it's happening. Damn. Got all our hopes up for nothing, eh, Claudius? Read about this place in all the books, and yeah. There is a coven of witches here. They've just gone batshit insane and turned themselves into crazy bird ladies. Making human sacrifices on the altar of Throm. And eating human flesh. Charming. Wow, value a thousand. I will take it and I will sell it to our friends down the hill. If I ever get this open, of course, we could be here for weeks. Margin for error on these fucking things is so small. You anyway, know, I think I was saying before, and I might have gotten interrupted. I, I've been playing New Vegas recently, and my suspicions were confirmed in that the lockpicking in New Vegas is way fucking easier than uh, than it is in uh, in Skyrim. Way fucking easier. And in Fallout 3 as well, come to think of it. The only difference was in those games, you couldn't open, you couldn't even try to open a lock if it was above your lock picking skill level. So. Wow. That's quite a view. Well, never mind, eh, Claudius. Ne better let next time. We still have other options when it comes to trying to cure your lycanthropy. So what now? Back to the Skull Village, I suppose. So, uh, this way. Past the temple again. Hello, Mirax Magical Slaves. How are you doing? Good morning, good morning. Hungry, slightly thirsty. Good thing I checked. Cabbage potato soup. Boar meat. Let's embrace our inner werewolf. Raw meat for the win. And some spring water. Snowberries, good, good. They are a must have item. Oh, 
little arctic fox. How you doing? Pretty slow running, these foxes, aren't they? <laughs> They're kind of like drunk foxes, really, more than anything else. Believe me, if a fox wants to get out of your fucking way, it will bolt. It won't lollop along like these things. Looted that bush, it would seem. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's fucking freezing up here, but it's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. It really is. Look at it, it's glorious. He says just as the bad weather starts to roll in, but you know, whatever. Makes a nice change from the brown ash rubbish down south. Except when it comes to netches, apparently. Hmm, great brown bear. That wouldn't be your werebear friend, would it? Perhaps. Well, um, where's my friend? It is good to see you again, my friend. Did you find the elves at their ship? I did. Yes, and I brought you the map to the Star Room source. I know you face great danger to bring this map to me. There are no words to tell how glad my heart is. Thank you, Greg. I name you Friend of the Skull, and I will trust you with the knowledge of forging the Star Room. Ooh. If you bring Star Room here to my forge, you can use my tools to make what you will from it. Until our next meeting, Skull. May your hunts always bring you game, and your crops grow tall and good. I heard from Dira how you went in search of Baldur. That was very brave. And in fact, that's just the kind of courage I'm looking for. I heard from Dira how you went in search of Baldur. That was very yes, brave. Yes, 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 you said that. And in fact, that's just the kind of courage I'm looking for. I helped a man in need, that's all. Modest as well as brave. Most admirable. I can see why the Skull think highly of you. Yes, I think you're just the adventurous sort I need. I have a job offer for you. As a scholar of history, I've always found source time to be most intriguing. I've made many forays into the ancient ruins that cover the island. I've come to know those ruins so well, I could draw you a map from memory. That's why I noticed the new passage the moment I laid eyes on it. New passage to what? An old tomb, I think. It must have been opened by an earthquake that accompanied one of the Red Mountain's eruptions. I'd love to have a closer look. Those old ruins can be dangerous, and I'm no adventurer. I'll pay you to watch my back down there. I'll be huh. heading back there soon. If you're interested, meet me at the ruins, and we'll see what we can find. Now I'm off to pack for the expedition. Presumptuous fellow. Lost legacy. Well, travel to Volok's tomb. Where is Volok's tomb? It's down here. Just a hop, skipping a jump down the coast. All right then. I'll bite. Well, he's he's already set off now. I suppose I'd better go protect him. Uh. <laughs> All right then. Well, can I use? I just use your forge and ancient Nords, maybe. What's a cool looking weapon? Oh my goodness! What the hell's going on, Balder? 
Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? <laughs> anyway, fucking hell. Um, doesn't seem to be here anywhere. Uh, should I just talk to him, maybe? Yeah, got it. I, uh, tell me about forging Star Room. First, you'll need to obtain some Star Room. Work. Got buckets of the stuff, mate. Once I've got star, how do I forge into something useful? Skill and patience. It's very much like work in ebony. Ah. Uh. Right. I'd say if you know how to forge ebony, then you know everything you need to know in order to forge star. Bugger. All right. Well, never mind. I guess we'll have to come back later with our. How much star room do we actually have now? Probably a lot. I, I know for a fact I've got more back at the house in Raven Rock, actually. So. 36 dollar room. Oh. That's probably quite heavy, isn't it? Yeah. They, they weigh one each, so. Still nowhere near my carrying capacity, though. <laughs> um, let's pop in here if I can. A bit, a bit warmer. Oh. oh, it's almost like white run, isn't it? Almost like Dragon's Reach. <laughs> he really is packing his stuff, isn't he? Um, gosh, yeah, I. Uh, I tell you what, I wax nostalgic about white run and Dragon's Reach, but when I think about it, you know. Let's look at the, the Dark Elves in Raven Rock. I helped them out a bunch, and they said, you know what, here, take this house for free. It's all yours. In fact, take this manor. It's yours. Do with it what you want. Uh, you're welcome here. Um, I killed a fucking dragon for Jarl Balgraf, and he, sa he says, oh, here, have this honorary title, which means precisely bugger all. And um, you may ne you now have the right to purchase from me for a ridiculous sum of money a house in my town. Yeah, Councillor Morvane is definitely a um, more appreciative sort. It's got to be here somewhere. Who are you? You couldn't possibly be the Dragonborn of Legend, could you? Have you heard? One of them. There's been another dragon attack. Kynesgrove this time. You know about Kynesgrove all the way up here? Oh, you're the leader of the village. Okay. Uh, did you become leader of the village? I was chosen by the people of the village when our last leader, Skaf the Giant, departed the cold world to join the Allmaker. I suppose I've always spoken my mind and tried to do what's best for the Skaf. That's why the others call me Fanari Strongboys. Tell me more about your people. We are Nords, much like those you'll find in Skyrim. Long ago, our path diverged from that of our cousins on the mainland. We live as one with the land, for the land provides all that we need. Also, like the Nords of old, we embrace the Allmaker. We do not worship the nine gods of the Empire. Uh, what can I do to help the Skull? Bandits sometimes come at night to steal our food. They think that stealing from us is easier than hunting for themselves. It will be dangerous, but if you'll deal with these thieves, we would be most grateful. Oh, it would be my pleasure. Then may the Allmaker give you the strength of a great bear and make your will as firm as stone. Right. Good day. Okay, yeah, kill a few bandits. I can do that. Bit of a big place to be warned by one just by one piddling little fire. I've got to be honest with you. I think you'd need a bigger fire than that to warm up somewhere this this large and this drafty. I mean, you've got these little braziers, I suppose, but you really are keeping up with current events, aren't you? Oh, there's a back door. Huh. I'll be damned.
What the hell? What's going on? Weather's taking a turn for strange. It's only 11 o'clock in the morning. If Nicholas leaves, I fear he will One never return. Need to be mended with a new leg. Well, well then, let's have a look at our journal. I'm gonna go meet Tharston at Valok's tomb. It'll take him a little while to get there, then, the old codger. So, why don't we talk to. or, or do. the other thing. Miscellaneous. Kill the leader of Hackney's Shoal. I'm guessing. Speak to Rallis Sidaris at Coldyorn Barrow. I've no idea what that's about. I'm afraid I've forgotten. If that's anything to do with this expansion at all, I've forgotten. Um, kill the leader of Hackney's Shoal. Up there. I'm guessing these are the bandits in question. I welcome you, friend of the skull. If not, then I'm I'm quite sure nobody will mourn their loss. Let's just there is bone chilling, yes. Let's warm ourselves up the a bit first. Are we warming up at all here? Doesn't look like we are. Head back inside. We might as well do this, because if we're going to broach this news to the Skarl, that the Daedric Prince of Libraries wants to um, pinch all their hidden knowledge, I bet might as well get on their good side first. 